Yo, what's up guys? Sam here. How you doing? Update gang. iOS 13.2.2 is out today already with a big fix for the multitasking issue that so many of you were running into. Now, if you're wondering why it's 13.2.2 and not 13.2.1 because there never was an iOS 13.2.1, it's because it was an exclusive update available for the HomePod to correct an issue where some HomePods were getting bricked while updating to iOS 13.2 initially. So today Apple is back with 13.2.2, a super confusing naming scheme to fix some more issues. Some of these issues are brand new. Some of these issues have been around for a while. So per usual, I want to run through the entire change log in this video. If you guys are excited for this update, you know the drill. Drop a like down below. It does seriously help me out and hit subscribe so you all stay up to date on the latest iOS news. All right, so first up, the multitasking issue has been corrected in this update. It was basically where you would be in one app and then a second later, if you wanted to go back to that last one, it would reload something. This is super annoying. If you were, for example, in the middle of composing an email or a lengthy text message, sometimes it wouldn't save. And it, it was literally to the point where you would be in one and a second later you'd go back and the last one would be closed. Some people thought this was a planned feature. Turns out, as I and many others hoped, it was a bug in iOS 13.2. And it did take Apple just a second to correct it, but now going into that multitasking switcher, for example, if I go back to settings, it doesn't have to reload. It just starts right up back where you left off as it always should have. Next up, after making a call, your cell service may have cut out in iOS 13.2. Apple's corrected that. And an issue has also been addressed where cell data might not be available. I wonder if those two are maybe correlated in some way. Previously, if you were using an exchange account, there was an issue where some encrypted replies to s slash m-i-m-e email messages would be unreadable, probably due to some error with the encryption. And then the last two seem quite niche. I'm not exactly sure what sample or crop of people ran into these, but definitely let me know if you did. Uh, using Caribou single sign-on service may present an authentication prompt unexpectedly and uh, resolves an issue where charging could be interrupted with certain branded YubiKey lightning powered accessories. Rounding out the change log with security updates, there actually aren't any in iOS 13.2.2. So there weren't any major security flaws discovered so far in iOS 13.2, which is good because it looks like Apple has had nothing to fix. So only changes are right here in the official change log. I haven't noticed anything else. No new wallpapers, nothing too exciting, but that multitasking bug, the crux of this update, has finally been addressed. Now, I doubt there's any benefit in CPU performance in iOS 13.2.2, but it's worth a try regardless. Now, I wanna present these results with caution because I'm not exactly sure how accurate one test is, but on iOS 13.2.2, I got 1336 for the single core score and a pretty decent 3479 for the multi-core score on Geekbench 5, where on 13.2, I was only looking at 34.67 and 13.32. So I have actually seen some performance gains, more than just like one or two points in the multi-score department. So again, I don't know how significant this is. So maybe there is a small performance boost in this update. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. It feels about the same to me from just using it, but uh, perhaps the multitasking bug was weighing down other parts of the operating system. Anyway, guys, that is all I have for you on iOS 13.2.2. If you enjoyed watching, if you learned something new, drop a like down below. It does seriously help me out. And hit subscribe so you stay up to date on the latest Apple news. That's all I've got for you today. Hope you're doing well. Get updating. And I'll see all of you in my next video.